Hi everybody, just wanted to do a quick video about how I keep my old laptop running um, fairly smoothly <laughs> for an old laptop. Um, I'm now I'm no expert at PC optimization, but these kind of things work for me and I thought they might work for other people too. And if you've got any better ideas, obviously stick them in the comment section down below. So my laptop is now over six years old. Um, it's an Acer Aspire E1571 laptop. Um, Intel Core i5. Now, this is a picture of it here, you can see on the screen. Now, I did upgrade it to 8 gigabytes of RAM. So it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM, so that speeded it up a little bit. Um, so the, the first thing I tend to always try and do is I try and keep plenty of, I say plenty, a, a chunk of hard drive space free on my hard drive. So I've got 127 gigabytes free. Um, so I make sure, you know, I always keep at least 100 gigabytes free. Um, I also restart the uh, do a complete reboot every every couple of days as well um, to clear things out and empty the recycle bin all that sort of stuff um, however as far as software goes I use uh, system mechanic to um, fix and speed up my PC now I've used system mechanic for a few years now um, and it seems to do a good job it's, I don't really do any benchmarking because I don't I don't use this PC for gaming well I use it for gaming through GeForce now um, but that's done through streaming games not through the actual processor in the in the laptop playing it um, but I'm, I do notice that if I'm not using system mechanic this it does slow down a little bit and I do get hitching and and more sort of freezing when, when it's trying to do things um, so again I'm no expert but I'm, I think what system mechanic is helping do is, is to keep that that memory available keep the cores ticking over nicely and uh, and stop lags as it says there now if you are thinking about system mechanic though you can get it really cheap I'll, pu I'll put a link down in the description down below now the links nothing to do with me I don't get money for it or anything like that but if you go to tech radars system mechanic review they have a 70% discount where you can get a year's worth of service uh, for 15 quid so you can try out system mechanic for a year for 15 quid which is which is pretty cool if you ask me now something that really boosted up speed as well i found was windows 10 de bloater and again i'll put a link to this in the in the description down below now with this make sure you read all about it first but basically follow the instructions um, you install it you run it and it gets rid of a load of stuff that's in windows 10 that doesn't really need to be there especially um processes that are running in the background um, services so it gets rid of them and I noticed my computer seemed to be running a little bit faster after that as well now apart from that obviously I do things like I try not to have too many programs running at the same time um, I try and keep my desktop fairly clear um, my next upgrade path though will be definitely um, despite the fact that the laptop 66 years old I really like this laptop it's a solid laptop it's it's just, I mainly do sort of web browsing playing games through GeForce now streaming service lots of video editing um, and it does all that stuff you know fine my, it takes quite a while to render videos um, but but it's cool it's solid it's been reliable um, so my next thing would be to install an SSD because at the moment you can get a one terabyte for about 120 quid I mean we're I'm talking about over the next couple of months and what I understand is you kind of buy an SSD and you get a cable that adapts from USB to the to the laptop and that means that you can then to the hard drive you can copy everything you, you clone the contents of your existing hard drive to the new SSD and then you just swap them over and then reboot it and that gives a, a really big uh, performance increase probably the biggest performance increase you can get um, to, to, to a hard drive so there we go that's how I make my old laptop run um, fairly smoothly keep plenty of space on the hard drive restart it you know every couple of days I use uh, system mechanic um, I use uh, Windows the bloater and then my next thing will probably be to install an SSD okay if you've got any other questions or ideas stick them in the comment section down below hopefully that's been useful and I'll see you again soon